Hello and welcome to the Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp mini training course. I'm super glad that you're here and uh, I can't wait to get started. So a couple of things first. I have been in the digital marketing industry for nearly 10 years, which is kind of crazy. And actually, probably even longer than that, um, because once upon a time, I even used MySpace to leverage um, a local boutique that I was working for at the time. Um, and then I was in college. I had a lot of internships and a lot of experience with that. Um, and then as soon as I graduated college, actually before I graduated college, I landed a position with an inbound marketing agency and I worked for them for five years and I currently have a full-time job um, as the chief digital marketing officer at a local law firm. So that's kind of, you know, my, what my experience looks like. And you're more than welcome to visit my portfolio online. It's super transparent. Just go to my website, click on portfolio. You will see um, all of my work and there's also a PDF to my resume. So I have worked in a ton of different vertical markets and primarily with local business owners, which is why I created this course, um, or this mini course and my course and coaching program, Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp. So on the screen here are just a couple of industries that I've worked in. Um, the Moonshine Distillery is my case study. I've been working with them for three years and um, so much fun to work with them. I also worked with tire dealers uh, predominantly at the agency. I was helping tire dealers all over the United States sell more tires, and that was a lot of fun. Real estate agents, churches, dentistry, legal, a gastro pub, um, gastro pub uh, a health store, funeral homes, um, local potters, and the list goes on and on and on. And you can learn more about me and what other people have to say about me by visiting my Google My Business listing. i um, just going to put this link on the screen here. Or you can just simply search Digital Sergeant and you should see my Google My Business listing there as well with a ton of reviews. So this course, Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp, is designed to educate local business owners about digital marketing. So if you are a local business at any capacity, this course and coaching program um, is perfect for you. And this course is really, in this mini course specifically, is really um, teeing up Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp, which is a course and a coaching program that I will be referencing uh, quite a bit. And I created Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp actually in the, throughout the thick of the pandemic, I was really seeing a lot of business owners were eager to learn about digital marketing more than ever. So I wanted to create a course to help them learn about digital marketing. But I also wanted to give personalized training because, um, you know, a strategy that works really well for a uh, distillery may not work really well for a real estate agent. So while all of the uh, material within local business digital marketing bootcamp and the course and coaching program and even in this mini course um, is a lot of generic information. It's still extremely helpful for you. Um, but that's why I also offer that personalized training, that access to me, because um, I think that's really important as well. So when you purchase the course in the coaching program, you actually get two personalized sessions with me that you can book at any time um, within the next year of you purchasing the course. So this course um, has already entered beta mode and you will see uh, some highlights on the screen here. Uh, Crazy Jugs is a, a local pottery company that I work with and it's so much fun working with them. They create a lot of really great pottery. You should definitely check it out. Um, but they, uh, Sandy McCormick and Tim McCormick said, I love the, tour, the, the tutorials within local business digital marketing bootcamp and the personalized coaching sessions. Um, Somebody else from Brandon Junior Women's Club said, local business digital marketing bootcamp helped me so much with Google My Business and helped us bring more traffic to our website. That makes me so happy. And uh, somebody with Blackwood Consulting, Ryan Jacobs, actually said, the Google My Business chapter alone was so helpful and the optimization video was filled with so many tips. So that is what people are saying about local business digital marketing bootcamp. Now, this mini course and um, coaching program that I'm talking about local business digital marketing bootcamp may not be for you if you already know how to do search engine optimization, if you already know how to leverage social media, um, if you're already dominating page one, if that's the case and you're already pretty much set up, you might need 
um, some more technical training. And in that case, we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. And it, this mini course, uh, specifically what we're talking about right now, is not good for you if you do not um, you know, want to know about local business digital marketing bootcamp and um, leveraging that course and further uh, efforts as well, because I will be talking about it throughout this course and I already have throughout the mini training course. So, um, you know, this course may not be for you if you need any of that information. So let's begin. Let's start dominating. And what you see on the screen right now is my first buyer persona. Her name is Prim Rose. And I put the buyer persona um, material at the very beginning of the course because it's so important that business owners are constantly thinking about their ideal target audience. You know, who exactly are they trying to reach? And in the buyer persona um, section of the course, which I'm going to pull up right here, um, there's, an, there's a training video here, um, a worksheet, and a couple of examples of buyer persona development. But um, essentially what you're going to want to do is ask yourself uh, questions about your ideal target audience. And that is um, specifically, what pain points do they have? Uh, where do they get their information? What challenges do they have? And how can your business help them? And essentially, how is your business the solution to all of their problems? In reality, really the medicine to help solve all their problems. So um, buyer personas also have, they have a name, um, they have a bio, they have photos. So you're really creating this like fictional character for your business of what your ideal target audience looks like. And you should really have multiple uh, buyer personas based off of the different types of target audiences. For example, um, you know, Prim Rose owns a flower shop and she's a local business owner, a brick and mortar business owner. I also have another buyer persona for a real estate agent who is actually a service-based um, company. So this person goes to them and helps them out. So it's a little bit of a different landscape, but I really wanted to show you uh, Primrose. This is the exact example I mentioned in Local Business Digital Marketing Bootcamp. When you take the time to go through that buyer persona exercise, you really start to peel the onion back on your ideal target audience and your ideal um, customer. And this will really help sharpen your messaging strategy to make sure that all of your content is really queued up for all of your different buyer personas. So that way you're really reaching them. And the buyer persona exercise is something that's overlooked all of the time. And that's exactly why I put it first, because if you're just, you know, taking marketing strategies and throwing them up against the wall, like testing your spaghetti, um, you know, some things are going to work and some things are not going to work. Uh, but whenever you have your buyer persona development in mind, your content strategy is much finer and um, your messaging strategy is really broken down to detail. So that way you are speaking to your exact ideal target audience. So the next item to talk about is Google My Business and Google My Business. Uh, I love you so much, Google My Business. So this right here, what you're looking at is something called a map pack. And um, this is some research that I put together specifically for this mini training course. So uh, the key word was local business digital marketing near me. And I was searching, of course, in Claremont. And you'll see here a couple of um, you know, other listings came up. But what I really wanted to show you here is the competition because you only really have three spots in the map pack. So this is technically a map pack. Whenever you search something on Google, um, and this comes up right here, this is called the map pack, and there are three spots um, naturally, and then there's one paid spot. So really there's only three organic spots you can be in, and then one paid spot. So this company right here, Next Horizon, they're actually paying to be in the Google Map Pack for the number one position. Now, everything underneath it is going to be organic positions. So organic um, placement, and you get in the Map Pack with a thorough search engine optimization strategy. You can really leverage this um, Google My Business listing by making sure everything within your Google My Business listing is totally optimized down from your um, reviews to make sure that your reviews mention um, your services, that you are asking questions and answers um, to help with your uh, rankings as well. And then even down to the landing page, you want to make sure that your landing page is also 
um, perfect for your business. And you might want to think about that because it's not necessarily going to be your homepage that is going to really help you break into the map pack. It's actually going to be your location landing page. So that's a little nugget to take away. So the reason why I really harp on organic traffic is for this right here. So this is a screenshot I took right out of my Google Analytics account yesterday, actually. Um, it's from July 18th to August 16th. And you can see here that most of my traffic is organic. And that's exactly why I love search engine optimization so much because you're not necessarily having to rely on paid advertising. You're able to rely on your organic search traffic. It's because of search engine optimization and a thorough strategy why I'm able to have so much organic traffic to my website. And it's so important that you take the time to go uh, through that. And I want to show you something right here. So Claremont, Florida, local business digital marketing is the search term. And um, boom, I'm actually showing up above the map pack. Let me actually put this in incognito. Claremont, Florida, local business digital marketing. Boom, digital sergeant number one right here and my website is right here, um, my landing page is right here, and I even have a YouTube video right here as well. So you can see that thanks to search engine optimization, and here's my Facebook page um, and my Pinterest page. <laughs> so you can see that thanks to um, search engine optimization, I'm really dominating the first page of Google for the search term, Claremont, Florida, local business digital marketing. And in local business digital marketing bootcamp, we really go through the trenches uh, when it comes to search engine optimization specifically. Um, we go through all of the keywords, how to identify them, headers, title tags, alt descriptions, um, meta descriptions. And actually, I want to highlight this um, real quick too to show you. So, this right here, digital marketing services for Claremont, Florida, uh, and then it says local business owners. So this is actually my, the name of my URL and my slug, but it is also the name of my title tag. And then, which is what you see right here, your page title tag. And then this little uh, bit right here, this two line, um, uh, paragraph is actually called my meta description. Whenever you're leveraging these two things together, you're really able to do so much and really start dominating within your industry because when somebody Googles a service that you have to offer, we want two things to happen. We want you to show up in the map pack like we just were. And then we also want your website to show up directly underneath that. And when you start dominating Google, then you're making more money because you're taking all of that real estate Anytime a customer searches a service that you have to offer and different variations of that, and if your business keeps popping up, they have no choice at that point but to call you and to learn more about you. But the important thing to remember whenever crafting content for um, search engine optimization specifically is to always write content for the user first and the search engine second. I really can't stress that enough. I see so many um, you know, people really getting tangled up in uh, you know, writing content that's like stuffed with keywords and, you know, digital marketing here and digital marketing there and da, 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 da. And it's like, that's technically spammy. And the minute you enter a spammy scenario that you could potentially be spammy, that's when you really start to, um, you know, Google will start to basically derank you. And that's the last thing that you want to have happen. And when it comes to keyword research, the uh, resources that I use, the tools that I use are um, Keywords Everywhere uh, and TubeBuddy. And then I also use the Google Keyword Planner, which is a huge help um, in identifying keywords and things like that as well. And when it comes to keywords, there are a couple of different um, types of keywords. You have your branded keywords. So digital sergeant for me would be branded keyword. Um, Jennifer sergeant technically for me would be a branded keyword. A non-branded keyword would be local business digital marketing that has nothing to do with the name of my brand. So that would that would actually be called a non-branded keyword. And then um, you know really leveraging the Google Keyword Planner tool 
um, keywords everywhere and to everybody, you can really get a nice temperature of what um, you know keywords you should be using and also take into consideration your buyer persona development and really uh, pairing those two together. So um, this is the uh, search engine optimization, the keyword section of local business digital marketing bootcamp. And you can see here that we uh, really go through a lot of detail. So uh, something else that I really want to talk about is the choose three formula. Um, and this is something that I really started to apply um, and really started to talk about because of the pandemic, because a lot of business owners were like, oh my gosh, I need to be everywhere. I need to be on LinkedIn. I need to be on Twitter. I need to be on Pinterest and all of these social media platforms. And they found themselves making content for all these social media platforms, but they're not really making smart content. They're just making content to make content. And then they're also not paying attention to the things they need to pay attention to within their local business. So the cheat choose three formula basically is that you choose three social media platforms to help you leverage your brand. So I always say, start with a social media platform that you feel the most comfortable with. So if you feel comfortable with Facebook, then make sure Facebook is in your mix because when you're making content for Facebook, that means you're comfortable and the content's going to be good and natural. The second thing is to add a social media platform that is going to give you search engine optimization. And that is generally going to be either YouTube or Pinterest. And the third social media platform to add to your formula is a platform that's going to give you really great awareness. So if you're getting outstanding awareness on Instagram, boom, add Instagram. If it's TikTok, add TikTok. And then your fourth is always going to be Google My Business. So you can actually post on Google My Business as if it's a social media um, platform. It's not really going to give you um, a lot of like social media leverage though. It just really helps you with um, standing out on Google My Business. So this is my Google My Business platform. Um, and this is what it looks, this is what my listing looks like here. Um, questions and answers, my reviews. And then here are the posts right here. And you can schedule these super easily by using Publer, um, which I have a complete tutorial on how to schedule posts on Google My Business. But essentially, whenever you are crafting content um, with that formula in mind, that helps you create smarter content. So again, going back to your buyer persona, um, what are the issues that your buyers have? And then how can you craft content around that and post it on these social media channels and anything outside of your choose three formula plus Google My Business is just bonus points. So if you then take that material and you publish it on Twitter and Twitter isn't really a platform you're trying to dominate but you definitely want awareness there, then that's just bonus points. But you really wanna pay attention to the three social media platforms that I mentioned here plus your GMB and really evaluate, okay, which platforms are really working for me? Do I need to remove one and add a different one really constantly be changing and these are also the social media platforms that you're going to spend time engaging within um, on as well so within your social media platforms to really make sure that you're communicating with your ideal target audience and that you're growing relationships because the currency and digital marketing is two things one growing relationships and two attention for your business and those are the things that you really need to thrive so a buyer persona exercise plus SEO plus the choose three formula equals a recipe for growth. And I know this to be true because I've applied it to many businesses uh, throughout my day, but more specifically, I applied it to my own business, Digital Sergeant. And Digital Sergeant is only really something I started in June of 2019. I re something happened back then um, that made me realize, okay, I really need to position myself again as an authority in this space. And then once COVID happened, I realized that I am really behind now. So then that's when I really started to implement a strategy on my complete personal brand and really how I got to where I am today. It didn't happen overnight, but it happened with a really smart strategy and it can happen for your business too. So what you see here are one-liners, bios, and links. And I mentioned this because a lot of times I see, um, you know, business owners that get really tangled up in this like long spiel about what they do. And in reality, you only need one one-liner. When somebody asks you, what do you do in one 
tweet essentially. So in less than 280 characters, you should be able to quickly convey what it is that you do. So if somebody were to ask me, what do you do? I educate business owners about digital marketing so they can make more money. Boom. That's all I have to say. So what would you say if somebody were to ask you, well, what do you do? You really want to have that one liner queued up and ready to go. And then additionally, you want to take this one liner and use it on all of your social media platforms and any description possible. When somebody asks what it is that you do, you want to put out this one liner so that way they can quickly understand, put on all your social media platforms and even put on your business card. And that is the power really of a one liner. And then when it comes to links within social media. So this is something that we really talk about within local business digital marketing bootcamp. Um, but essentially what you want is a link that helps navigate people to the right social media or to the right website within um, your page. So when you click a link in any of my bios and social media, it is not going to take you to the homepage. So it will not look like this when you go to my website from um, Instagram. In fact, what you're about to see here is something called a link tree, but this is a link tree that I made specifically on my website for my business. So there is a company called uh, Linktree that you can utilize, um, but the SEO person in me is going to say, keep as many people on your website as possible. So this is a, a quick menu that I created and you can see it's super short. Local business digital marketing bootcamp, free digital marketing training, latest marketing trends, and find me on YouTube. These are the three elements that at this moment I'm trying to leverage. So when it comes to a link tree for your business, it may look a little different. It may be like book me now or services, um, products, or meet me, you know, something like that, that pertains to your business. But having a quick menu is going to really help that user experience whenever they find you on Instagram and they want to learn more about you and they have this quick menu here, they're able to see it um, a little bit differently and able to make like a quick reaction and a quick decision as well. Now, when it comes to hashtags, whew, I cannot talk about this enough. When it comes to hashtags, you really need a hashtag strategy per a platform. So, what I have here is a guide I created called um, uh, hashtag training, hashtag domination. And this really goes through how to identify hashtags on pretty much every social media channel, including Facebook. And Facebook wasn't even um, on this guide whenever I launched it. And then they kind of got it together. So um, this, this, guide shows you how to find your hashtags and then how to leverage them. And really you want to create a hashtag per social media platform. So the hashtags that you use on Instagram may not be the same hashtags you use on Facebook and definitely are not going to be the same hashtags you use on um, LinkedIn. So really, you know, coming it back to your choose three formula, like your social media platforms that you want to dominate and leverage, you also got to sort out which hashtags do you want to use. And, um, you know, just talking about Instagram specifically, because that's the most sought after social media platform on Instagram, you can have technically 30 hashtags on a caption. So if all of your hashtags are like hashtag Instagram, that probably has like a million views on it. Nobody's going to find you. So you need a blend of hashtags that have low volume and hashtags that have high volume, but not ultra high. So you really need to think about your hashtag strategy and figure out which hashtags you need to dominate. But furthermore, don't think about hashtags so much about your industry. Think about hashtags so much about how your user is trying to find you. So if you're a local business, without a doubt, you should be using local hashtags all the time. Hashtag Claremont FL, hashtag Claremont Florida, hashtag Lake County FL, hashtag Lake County, Florida, and all of those variations. And that's also going to help you get found because in reality, the only way you're really going to be able to get found on social media is through hashtags. So if you're not using the right hashtags or smart hashtags, people just aren't going to find you. So, um, you can have this free checklist this is the exact checklist that I share in local business digital marketing bootcamp at the end of the class and the course rather. 
and this uh, checklist is really designed to help um, you know business owners with their digital marketing. So you can have this checklist um, even if you don't take local business digital marketing bootcamp. I'll put a link to it below. But this is what it looks like, and it talks about a lot of the things that we went over a buyer persona development, you know, check this box here. Did you create a buyer persona biography, which identifies the following traits about your ideal target audience, their problems, their challenges, their routine and lifestyle, and their information sources, and create at least three fictional personas with photos. You have to have photos with these. That really helps the visual wheels connect to it. Your Google My Business listing, is it optimized? First of all, is it claimed, number one, is it optimized with an address and phone number, a website, a description, photos and signage, and a posting strategy? And also, I was just kind of like spewing and talking. Whenever you're posting to Google My Business, don't, you, don't use hashtags. They don't work. It's just, it looks very unnatural. So keep that in mind. And then when it comes to your on-page SEO, have you done your research? Have you done your service page and blog post strategy? Are you using headers, H1s, H2s, H3s? page title tag, meta description, and internal and external links, which is also huge in helping uh, really Google understand your dominance uh, within the industry as well. And then when it comes to social media marketing, did you identify the three social media platforms you want to leverage? Do you have a content strategy? Do you have a hashtag strategy per platform? Is your bio optimized with that one liner? And do you have a link tree in your um, as your link within your uh, social media platforms as well. So, um, I mean, really that is local business digital marketing crash course, like mini course. That is all of the things that we go over in this course, but, but of course, um, it's a lot more detail. Like for the Google My Business chapter um, alone, I even show you things not to, to do on Google My Business because gosh, that's like, Ooh, that's exhausting. I even show you how to um, knock out your competition within Google My Business. So if somebody is being really spammy, I show you how to report them to the Google My Business Police. And then I also talk about the importance of a Google My Business War File, which is really important if you are in a cutthroat situation. And usually the cutthroat industries are going to be um, you know, the medical industries or the personal uh, injury law in industries, legal really, um, and medical super cutthroat. So if your competition wakes up every single day to knock you out, then you're definitely going to want a Google My Business War File. And I show you how to data scrape your reviews and things like that. And then again, the website portion, we talk about search engine optimization, keywords, title tags. And what's really cool is that I even show you how to um, edit your website for SEO, for Squarespace and um, WordPress, Elementor specifically, links and citations, and then how to connect your Google Analytics, your Facebook Pixel, and your Google Search Console. And then when it comes to social media marketing, we really go through the trenches of a content strategy, a hashtag strategy, bios and links, and then a handful of um, organic tips as well. So this course doesn't really talk about paid advertising. If that's something you're interested in, then definitely um, send me a message went off and we can talk about that. Um, but this is mostly all just on an organic level. So there's a handful of that. And then we talk about um, YouTube as well. So that is the crash course of local business digital marketing. And um, you know, above all, I hope that you found this course, um, this mini crash course, like super helpful for you. I know I covered a lot of information at once and I talk really fast. So definitely be sure to watch it a couple of times. Um, and then if you are interested in, you know, join local business digital marketing bootcamp, um, what, like I mentioned, which is a course and a coaching program. So you get access to all of this curriculum. Plus you get two 45 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. Plus you get access to my Facebook group, which I'll be hosting even more uh, trainings and things like that. And then um, you also get lifetime access. So if there's a Google update that is going to rock the real estate agency, you're going to know about it and you're going to know what to do to be prepared for it. So really I just morph into your like digital local business ally or digital digital marketing ally. Um, and this is really what I love to do. Uh, local businesses are the heart and soul of our community. 
I really owe all of you a thank you for attending this mini crash course. And if you have any questions at all, I would love to help you. And I'll see you in local business digital marketing bootcamp.